all right so what do we have here is the height of a tree is defined as the number of edges on the longest path in the tree okay that's the definition of the height of the tree the function shown in the pseudocode below is invoked as height root to compute the height of a binary tree rooted at the tree pointer root all right so uh, there is a pseudocode out here and what this pseudocode does is it it computes the height of a binary tree okay and we all know what is the height of a binary tree it's the longest path from root to any leaf then uh, what it says is that this root thing okay this argument out here or in this code this this n okay it's the it's the pointer to the root okay so suppose if I have a root node like this and suppose this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree of that binary tree for which we want to find the height then what I can say is that uh, this thing n this n is a pointer to this root node okay so n points out here okay so if if we had this data structure for this tree okay and how would a node look uh, any general node in this tree okay would look like this okay so suppose this is some node in this tree so it will have three things okay and this will store the value okay this is this will store the value and this will be a pointer to the left child and this will be a pointer to the right child that's what we will have for any node that's the general description of any node and in, in this pseudocode you, you see these things n and this arrow right and in this arrow left this also comes in c code if you if you know c so this pointer okay is is left pointer this is right pointer and that's what it is so n dot left is basically this pointer okay so this is basically n dot left this is n dot left n arrow left and this is n arrow right okay so that's what these pointers are so i gave this thing so that it becomes easier for you to analyze that what's going on in this case okay so so let's go through this pseudo code and then what we have to do is there are these two empty boxes this is box one and this is box two it's like fill in the blanks question that you get in like your lower classes and then you have to uh, fill these boxes so what will come in box b1 and what will come in box b2 and then you have to choose from these options so yeah let's go through this pseudo code so int height tree pointer n so this is this you give the pointer to this function the pointer to the root n and if n is null okay then return minus 1 so if this points to nowhere that means there is no tree and this will returns to minus 1 which is fine so we don't have any issue with up till here this is fine if n left is equal to null so if there is nothing in the left side okay null means it points nowhere so if there is nothing on the left side that means that the tree there is no left child there is no left subtree okay so there is nothing out here so the only thing that you can possibly have is on the right side but then it says that if n right is also null okay if there is so nothing out here as well so we have nothing here we have nothing here that means this is the only node in the tree the root node is the only node in the tree and the height in that case will be zero okay so this is also fine and then it says else return b1 so this else is nested within this outer if if you see so this outer if mean is for the case when the there is no nothing in the left okay so this left side is empty that's the case we are talking about okay in this outer thing and and if there is nothing on the right it's already zero that means that else means that there is something on the right side okay and and if there is something on the right side that's what will come on b1 okay and if you look at these options you have this height n dot right thing okay this height n dot right and uh, arrow right height and arrow right these things out here okay 
you have all these height and right so you are doing you are making a recursive call if you see so what how will you find the height in this case okay so if there is something out here what you can do is that okay whatever is out here what I can do is I can say okay for this add 1 because of this edge add 1 plus height of this remaining thing okay plus height of whatever is on the right side okay because 1 comes because of this edge and then you do the same thing you you recursively call the same function to be applied on this right subtree that will give you the height okay because that will be the height along this right side and there is nothing on the left so that's what's been done in this case 1 plus height and arrow right and 1 plus height and arrow right so that means the correct answer must be from a or d so what we can do at this point is we can definitely eliminate c and we can eliminate b okay and then by looking at b2 we will finally decide whether it is whether the correct choice is a or d okay so we, we continue with the pseudo code then we have one more else okay so this else is okay with this if okay it goes with this if it's not nested inside that but it goes it's the other condition okay so we, this was the case when there was nothing on the left side if n left is equal to null and then we have else so that means that there is something on the left side in this case okay so there is something on the left side and then what it does is it calls this function h1 is equal to height n left so this h1 is nothing but the height of this thing on the left side because h1 is height and arrow left okay so this will give you the height on this left side and then it says that if n right is null okay if there is nothing on the right side then all you need to do is add this edge this one plus this height okay and that's your height so this is fine okay when there is nothing on the right side but only on the left side and but then there is this else else means that there is something on the right side as well then what it says that h2 is equal to let that thing so let's if it is saying that okay if you have something on the right let's compute it and in that case let's make it h2 okay so now we have some h1 is the height of this tree and h2 is the height of this tree so left is left subtree's height is h1 right subtree's height is h2 then what should we return we should return and there will be one if you want to find the total height so there has to be one out here and one out here because you have this edge and this edge and the bigger of these will give you the heights okay because height is the maximum length of the path so if h2 is bigger than h1 then 1 plus h2 will be your height if h1 is bigger than h2 then 1 plus h1 will be your height okay so that's why in this b2 you will have 1 plus max of h1 and h2 okay so this is max thing and this is also max so these are all max down here it's overwritten over this sorry about that but this is max h1 and h2 and this has to be our correct choice because out here we don't have that one that we need because one is for this edge okay and that's why b2 is the correct choice uh, b2 is the correct choice with this one plus max h1 and h2 and option a is the correct answer